Hey people, Zarth Womp here, and welcome to episode 9 of Cuphead! Last time we defeated Rumor Honeybottoms in her Tower of Honey, which was essentially a vertical version of Grim Matchstick's fight. And in this episode, we are going to be going on to our next boss, Captain Brinybeard in Shootin' and Lootin'. Okay, this boss, I would say, can be either very easy or just very evil. Because my seeker is going to be completely useless, I just realized. Because that barrel cast is an enemy. Ah. I go I know I'm gonna die at least once. Come on. Yeah. That barrel will continuously hit you while you're just trying to fight the fight. However, this is the first time I'm ever doing it with the charge. Okay, when he does that, the shark will come in and will hurt you. Okay. You know what? I might as well just use. Okay. Thursday! He'll do all, everything that he was doing before, only with cannonballs in addition. Okay, wow, my basil ring. Now this phase, that's what I'm gonna save my invincibility for. <laughs> okay, that was actually pretty fast. It was like Princess It was like Prince Queen Bonbon. Okay, I'm gonna save my invincibility for the next phase. Okay. Whoa. Okay, come on. Captain Briny Beard, he's more or less like, just unknow the pattern, know the pattern, know the fight. It's pretty easy to get the parries on him. Yeah, the shark is actually one of the easiest attacks, best attacks, because it just, you have to get right up close to him, and you can just unleash hell. So come on. His boat is sentient. Everything is sentient in this world of lunacy. Trust me, destroy that octopus at all costs. Come on. Come on. Final phase. Come on. You can do it. Okay. Oh, no. No, no, no. Not the mini screen. Not the mini screen. Okay, come on, I'm not gonna pause the game just to do this sort of thing. Ah! Forgot about that attack. But yes! Oh my gosh! Two minutes! Two minutes in and I I I did it! Wow! Okay, I'm definitely keeping this episode going. I, I don't know what to say. I thought this boss was going to actually be a challenge. I was going to take all this time. Wow, that charge attack. If you're doing Captain Brighter, do the charge attack. I was doing it with the split, with the it shine, with the split shine. It was just a pain. Because just, you'd have to do so much dodging. That and I got lucky with his summons. Because since he was only doing the shark and the, the one squid. If you don't fight that squid fast enough, he it will do an ink attack that will basically obscure the screen. Which in a game like Cuphead is essentially equivalent to instant death. But oh my gosh! I can't believe I managed to do it that fast. That's what I was concerned about with this whole thing. I was like, okay, some of our things are gonna take so long and then others are gonna be so bad. Anyways, let's talk to this turtle. Do you boys think your situation is a multicolored mess, don't you? Well what if I told you there was a way to see things in shades of grey? A way that only a pastor's platform would be able to perceive. You would, you would, you little vile mugs, believe me if I could, if I told you that. I wonder. Freak it! Don't even trust that thing. Trust me. You basically what that turtle is talking about. If you play all the running gun levels without killing a single enemy, or I think it's without firing a single round shot, you basically can get through it then you basically get this black and white option. Now, let's do our next stage. Hijinx, I see hijinx with Calamaria. 
Which, Colin Maria is, in my personal opinion, one of the better... Oh no, I forgot to swap it to the four. And we'll try it if I don't get it with if I don't get it in a few shots with the, this, then basically I'm going to just swap over. Now, Color Maria, basically she is a better version of Wally. Really, if you can get through Wally, you can get through her. You're sure she does a lot of patterns, but at least hers are reasonable. For, like, like I said. The worst thing is, she'll just clutter mess your screen. Okay, let's do this. She's that turtle. Whoa. Come on. Yeah, she'll do a bunch of dual attacks. Like, she'll have two on the screen at once. But this is her second phase. Oh, yeah. Okay. This is one of the easier easier throw combos that you can get from her. Okay, dodge. Let's do this. Okay, this is her third phase. Oh my gosh, if I could actually get this done quickly as well. Okay, ah, I see how you can do this now. Come on. I see how you can do it. You have to get below her. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on, I can do this. I defeated Wally, I can defeat her. Now for next phase. Yeah, final phase. Come on. Let's do this. With this, it's just more or less being calm. Being calm and being collected. Come on. Come on. Can I do this? Can I do this? Yeah, oh my! A second one! In six minutes! This is the episode of progress, mind you! First try! I didn't even die! <laughs> Man! This more than makes up for Wally's episode! Yeah, Kyle and Maria, I personally find her to be very easy just compared to Wally. Just and the other boss that will take so long. Oh my gosh. I I have time for another boss. Yeah, make it a three boss episode. Man, because things are moving. They are moving fast. We got the Kala Maria Soul contract! Two soul contracts in like seven minutes. That's good. That's very good. We're averaging four minutes a boss, really. <laughs> I am so steamed. I never want to hear Ludwig say less is more again. It's common sense that more is more. Ah, he doesn't know the first thing about fine music. And if you waste your time talking to him, neither will you. I, like I said, I'm sorry if a lot of my angry voices start to sound similar to like a Boston accent or Meowth from Pokemon. Okay. Our next fight fight is going to be this one, one night only. Sally stage play in Dramatic Fanatic! Why does she remind me of Gloria Von Gluten? She this boss will remind if you play Psychonauts, this boss will remind you of Gloria Von Gluten. Gluten just so much. Just it was her because she has like the stage play. She has the stage play and she just has the hair. I mean she just reminds me of Gloria. I may have to actually swap things out. Come on no. Okay, I'm probably gonna have to swap things I'm probably gonna swap things out just because hers is not a fight that you do. Okay, well, I can do it at the time, because, man, I'm just, like I said, I'm just so shocked that things have been going so fast. Okay, she's on to her second phase already. This phase can be a little asbestos, the powers of asbestos. And get, she wants to get us, she wants the babies to get us. 
Yeah, like I said, she has an off hitbox, to say the least. And, okay, I'm gonna swap things out. I'm gonna swap my weapons out. Stay away from the sad stage or succumb to the power of a stylist's rage. Like I said, I am so sorry if, like, all my actions come up with, like, some Bostonian thing. It's just a lot of them have, like, this weird Bostonian vibe to them. I don't know why, but just... Like I said, I can't get over how fast... I made you Kyle Maria on the first fight, and, you know, everyone tells me she's, like, the worst, one of the worst air fights. And then I just directed to Wally. Oh, Wally, you are the talk of the skies. Yeah, yeah, the video's gonna be on the loading screen, this loading screen. Anyways, I'm gonna swap out my thing for the spread shot, because the spread shot, I tend to feel, is much better for the, much better suit for this fight than the charge, because... Her hitbox is not large. It's, she's not like Captain Briny Beard or the Queen Bee, where you can just hit them really virtually anywhere. It'll hit. It, she's, she moves around a lot, and she really is going to torture you. Okay, come on. Ah! I'm still getting used to this boss. And then, meanwhile, so many people tell me that this is the easiest boss in the game. And I agree that she isn't bad. She really is the type where... You're really just gonna wanna... Whoa. Ah! Got hit by the kiss. Kiss of death. Her final phase is more or less just... Get out the secret shot and you win. And, okay, yeah. Break a leg, not break two! Yeah, this is gonna be the boss. Like, that's gonna be the curse for this episode. Where basically, it's gonna get me. Come on. Yeah. Hit her, hit her, hit her. Whoa. Yeah, like I said, it just takes a little bit of adjusting to get used to her. Come on. Yeah, take her on. Take her down. Yeah. Okay, I played it a little too big. Come on. Come on, come on. Yeah, like I said, this the main shot is not going to work it really all. Well. Okay, there she is. She's going to run away with him. They're going to go in the car. And she's going to summon her horde of babies to get us. Come on. Come on. Come on, take her. Take her. Whoa! Come on! Yeah, okay. Yeah! Yeah. This is gonna be- Yeah, this is gonna be this series version. Like, I had to get through Count Briny Beard with ease, I managed to get- And then, like, I get to the easiest boss, and she kill- And she kicks my ass. Just- Just beautiful. This irony at its finest. The boss that, like, I legit- I legitimately did not have that much issue with when I first fought her. And then Captain Brian Beard and Kyla Maria, she just, they torture me on my first time, and now they're nothing. Ah! Come on. I'm not gonna give in. Come on. Okay, where is she? Where is she? Whoa! There she is. Okay, she's gonna run away with him. Good, good, good. I'm gonna be waiting until the till the, the third phase to unleash my superpower. Ah, okay, that one was my fault. I will admit that much. Yeah, but still. Okay. Come on. We're doing this. Come on, where is she? Where is she? Whoa, there she is. Come on. Yeah, we're doing this. Ah! Sometimes the parry just can be a little off. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, there she is. Goes with her husband. You know, I may just swap it over to the Mega Charge shot. But I think that one just overall does things a lot faster.
¿Te ¡Ah! ¡The Babies! Come on. Ah, okay. I, I'm, I'll try one more time with this. I know I can do it. I'm, I'm getting too spoiled on the charge shot. That's why. You get so adjusted that you have to end up basing your entire strategy around it. Come on. Come on. Come on, I can take you. Come on. Where are you? There you are. Come on. Yeah, there we are. Which is really. Glory Von Goop. This. Really. It just can't be me that gets a Glory Von Gooten vibe off this girl. Or really. She just resembles Gloria. Like, yeah, Jasper. Why can't we just go in her head and fight Jasper? I prefer fighting Jasper, really. At least Jasper would, get, would be a quick fight. What am I saying? We have to get the asbestos curtain. I was like, that curtain made of asbestos? But yeah, the babies, they're gonna be your enemy here. The evil of babies, what is this allegorical? About children can just be a drain, a financial drain, and will drain Cuphead's soul from his body. Come on. No! Come on. Cuphead can't die here. Come on. No! Watch how it's was almost there. You know what? I'm gonna try because, really, I I have time. I have plenty of time. This boss is gonna be the one that takes a while, and then you know everyone who plays Cuphead. They're just like having a just massive case of confusion because they're like, oh my god, how could you have beaten Calamaria Maria and Briny Beard, but yet with so in such little time? And then you get the and then you get the year, the easiest boss in the game, and everyone's like, and you're dying over and over again. Well, like I said, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, well, at least I can hit with that one. Okay, good. Okay, come on. Okay, come on. Like I said, you want to save up your super for the for the net for the third phase because then you can just go mad wild. She stays in one place. Granted, you get this phase, and all this pain, but still. Okay, come on. Who are these babies? Really, who are these babies? That's all I'm asking. Oh my gosh, are they related to the egg baby from last episode? Okay, okay, third phase, third phase, third phase. Fire, 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 and my plan backfired so heavily. Good riddance, you go away, it's time for my soliloquy. The, the final phase is the one that's actually the easiest one, just because for me, I have the seeker. Because in the final phase, it's it's really not impossible with, with any other weapon. You know what, I'm actually swapping out. I am so sorry that I'm doing this over and over again, but I have to just get my weapon out. Because really, just I think I got it. I think I got the strategy. I'm gonna try with the charge shot. I'm gonna try with charge. Oh. If I was able to do it with the dragon, if I was able to do it with Grim Matrix, I can do it with her. I mean, like I said, you get developed to the charger. The charge becomes your friend because it kills things quickly, and then just like you're like, let me use my charger, please. I know I I sound so look so indecisive when I do stuff like this, but hey, we have time. It's only 18 minutes in the video! By this point, I would be just go transitioning into my insanity from Wally. I mean, just really. Just what I was saying, Egg Baby, over and over again. Literally, just. I still cannot believe that episode. Just how many times I was saying, Egg Baby. Come on. Come on, where are you? Yeah, you think you can fight me? Come on. Yeah. She thinks she can fight me? Okay, we're all... Oh! Wow, we're already to this phase! 
Yeah, the charge is the best weapon, because just in terms of raw power. They say don't cry over still enough, but really. Come on. Ah! Okay, that one was my fault. That hit was entirely my fault. Oh! Alright, this is our base. See, we're already working out. Meteor. Come on. Okay, she's already there. Now, this phase, she's going to use her angel powers and fly. And that's when I die. Please exit stage left during my standing ovation. Okay, if I could have made three hits, I would have been good. Because it's more or less just bounce over the umbrella. Come on, where are you? Where are you going to drop? Come on. Come on. Just die. Yeah, take that. Yeah, take that. Yeah, I did not see that fan. I did not see that fan. Come on. Yeah, this is gonna be the fight that just tortures me this episode. This is gonna be this episode, like the third fight. Well, I'm not gonna be greedy. Next episode is gonna be good. Okay, come on. I'm actually watching above my head for the babies. Oh, that's this, this is my least favorite phase in the fight. Just because at least the others really don't torture you. They're not testing insanity. You're not testing against your sanity. It's really her strategy is to just block you in. At third phase. Yes, I know. You know, funny thing, this fight was the one that I actually died in every phase. Come on. Where are you? Come on. Do your twirly tornado jump. I know, come on. And then you get the husband who's just doing the shimmy shanga. The shimmy shanga donkey conga. Like, really, what was his line? I mean, it makes you wonder, did Cuphead just barge into a play? Like, well, it's, oh my gosh, could you imagine if you're an actor, and just some, you're doing your show, you're a little stage fight, you're, you say so long for this role, and then this weird cup guy comes in because you owe your soul to the devil. Okay, ah, come on. Oh, darn it! Right when I was there! Right when I was there, that baby! That, what is it with me and babies? It's like some curse! Okay, that's why I don't like just that tidal wave. I know how to dodge it. You have to actually parry over it. But other than that, it's just a pain. What the? I did not have the reflexes! I did not have the reflexes! Uh, if I would have made I with more than one hit! That's the thing with these final phases. You're so close to the end, but then you're just... Guess what? Come on. I don't even know if the explosion does anything. Personally, all of them just feel so unreliable, with the exception of the, of the one P-Shears combo. Ah! Darn you! I don't want your kisses! I don't want your love! You creepy actor lady! What is it with the act? Blow the kiss! Blow the kiss! I don't want your kisses! I don't want your love! Come on! Just go away! Just go to your baby army! What, like, like I said, this game! Me versus babies! Just really! The babies are my enemy! The devil babies! The, the devil babies! How do we even know that these babies are even more for the boss? They could be more for the devil! Ugh. I knew it was gonna happen! Yes, I know, Starlet's Rage! This is going to yeah, this official! This is the boss that I'm dying with! Some improv actor just doing her thing! Go on! Come on. 
Okay, yeah. Yeah, once the curtain's raised, that's when you know, okay, she's going into her next phase. And then the guy, he's just so happy. The asbestos. Damn babies. I hate the babies in this level. The babies can just screw it. And then you just get these un these unwinnable situations where you're going to be taking damage no matter what. It's just you determine, okay, how am I going to be taking said damage? Okay. Come on, I know she's almost dead. Okay, but, ah! The lightning bolt! Why can't I make it to this end phase? Okay, now I'm actually going to be getting this. Because now I actually have the grip of the umbrella. No, 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 no. Because that's the thing, just the initial drop. Because that umbrella moves faster than you think it is. It's going to deceive you. Yes! There we go! See, that's the final phase. That's how it should have went down. I didn't jump fast enough because I was underestimating the speed of the umbrella. But still, this was a good episode, I have to say. I mean, 26 minutes and we defeat not one, not two, but three bosses. I am just really walking on sunshine right now. But... That sunshine will soon be obscured by clouds because one of our next bosses is going to be a true pain. Yeah, it's going to... Oh, good, good, good. Good, it cuts off two entrances. Sally stage play. Okay, let's just... Yeah, this will get you into the shop area and the final mausoleum. How about we actually knock out the final mausoleum while we're in the area? Oh, let's talk to Forky McForkerson. Let's be honest, fellow, shall we? There is a class of grade of A people, and then there is, well, everyone else. At the moment, you seem like everyone else. And that means you cannot experience the world in the special way I do. Basically what this fork is referring to, uh, a certain number of bosses, I don't know if it's all the bosses or like 10 or so bosses, you have to get A ranks. And when, once you get all A ranks, you once you get those A ranks, you actually have the mode to swap the game art visuals to a two color, which basically is even more underwhelming than the black and white. Because really, like, granted, the black and white—that's all good if you want that truly authentic feel. But just other than that, just it's eh. But okay, let's knock out this last mausoleum. But still, I am just. I'm elated because just three bosses in one episode that that is just something to, to boast about because really especially since one of them is one of those notorious air fights in the game well besides one other yes a spooky bout we get a spooky spooky scary ghost bout Ooh, look at those ghosts the spooky ghosts but really the mausoleums are Surprisingly, not very easy. I never had an issue with the mausoleums, not even during my first playthrough when parrying was like my arch enemy. Come on. Where are you, ghosts? Oh, and then you get these guys. Come on, little girl ghost. She's coming. And then you get these big ghosts who split the two ghosts. You want to take those ghosts out as fast as possible. Come on. There we are. Come on. Where are you? Very good. Okay, we took out those top hat ghosts. Okay. Yeah, that's the beauty of the parry. And that should be it. Yep, victory! Hooray! Final time we have to look at Chalice Lady. Thank goodness you came by. Those lousy ghosts had me but good that time. That's the last match with Super Hotels. It'll fine for you. Well, time for me to take a crowd with good luck. Yeah, this third power, it's basically going to summon a giant ethereal cuphead to beat up the enemy. But still, it's not as powerful as you think. Granted, I've seen people like it because it just 
has a lot more verticality to it than the cup theme. But I prefer the invincibility, especially later game, because you will get a lot of bosses that just stand still and that you can just pound with your invincibility. With your invincibility. But anyways, let's swap back over. Because our next boss is actually going to be requiring it. Let's just check, let's check our little list. Yeah, we have only three bosses left. And one of them is one of them is going to be in the next episode, at the very least. Another is going to be a decent boss, and the other is going to be my worst nightmare incarnate. But still, we're moving at a great rate. I really appreciate that you stuck around to watch this episode. You're a great viewer, and I hope you come back for the next one. If you like this video, like, subscribe, comment, share, do whatever that you want. And with that, I will see you later. Bye.